The little one safe on the road when you get their car uh, is very important. And so you need to get their car seat checked and you can do that for free. Texas employees are urging parents to get their child's car seats checked and the department is currently offering free checkups. Joining me today to discuss more about this is Texas Public Information Officer Mr. Christopher Bishop, as well as Captain Randy Chabro with Austin Travis County EMS. Good morning to you Good morning. both. Good morning. Thanks so, for having us. Um, first things first, for, I'm, I'm holding this baby. This is what my future three year old is going to look like. First things first is how to put that car seat in your car. Give us a demonstration. Show us how it works. Yeah, so there's several different methods to install the car seat. So we can either use the lower anchors to install the car seat if your vehicle has that ca capability, or we can use the vehicle seatbelt to install the car seat. So here we have a forward facing seatbelt. So all we would have to do to install this car seat is what we call the BLT method. Right, everyone can remember that. Yep. So we need to buckle the car seat in. So we're gonna pass the car the seatbelt across the belt path where the buckle's on the other side and we're gonna buckle it in. The next is the L, so we're gonna lock it. So right now this retractor is not locked, but if mm. I take it and slowly pull it all the way to the end, it, all of a sudden it locks that retractor. Now that the car seat's locked, I just have to tighten it. So now I'd get it into position. I'm gonna go ahead and put my weight in the seat. I'm gonna pull on that shoulder belt and it's gonna tighten that car seat. And all that slack is gonna go back into this locked retractor. And now this car seat is nice and tight. It moves less than an inch side to side oh, or front wow. to back. And to finish it off, since it's a forward facing seat, I'm gonna take my top tether, which is extremely important. And I'm gonna connect it back here behind the seat and that reduces the head excursion or the head movement forward in a crash. And does this BLT method also work when it is flipped and the car seat is reversed? Absolutely. Yep. And so it's, it's, it's similar. There's some differences. There's not a top tether for when we're rear facing, but we still need it buckled. We need the, the seatbelt locked and then we need it tightened so that seat is tightened down. That BLT method. And I bring that up because they say, I just read a study that says you should have them rear facing for as long as possible, right? As long as possible, yep. And so many of the rear facing convertible car seats will go up to 40 or 50 pounds. They also go up to 38, 45 inches. It depends on the seat that you have. And so we can really keep our children rear facing until about three or four years old. And then it comes time to put the baby in the car seat. I'll pass yeah, so her this is the off first to step, you. right? And so we got the harness here. And so we can loosen that harness. I'm going to open it up. And since it sounds like you're going to be having one here in the next few years, oh, let's go ahead oh, and goodness. put your little one in. <laughs> and we're gonna get our harnessed in. And so like we said, we want the uh, seat nice and tight, but we also have to have our child harnessed correctly, which means that they're harnessed tightly. So this five point harness system is gonna come up and it's gonna buckle in. So now we're gonna get her in um, nice and tight. Um, we're gonna go ahead and pull this uh, webbing on the end. And mm -hmm. so we're gonna keep get pulling it until we have it so tight that we cannot pinch the, web, uh, the harness at her shoulder, mm -hmm. but we want her chest clip to be at armpit level. Very good. And make sure the head doesn't move. And Chris, this can really make a difference in when it comes to accidents, right? Uh, absolutely. Especially for infants and toddlers because their body structure is at its weakest. It's not developed enough to handle the forces in a crash. A good car seat installed properly and used properly can reduce the odds of fatality or serious injury for infants by 71 percent by 54 percent in toddlers. Yeah. Fantastic and keep, people can go real quickly tell us where they can go get their car seats checked for free right now you guys are doing this. Simplest way go to the website save me with a seat dot org look for the local text dot office you can enter your zip code That'll get you in the right place. Thank you guys so much for joining us again. That's savemewithaseat.org. We'll be right back.